Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Today we're going to travel, and we're actually going to Spain, or are we going to France? Well, we might be going to both places、cool. because there's this、uh, <laughs> trail there that's popular with hikers. That's、uh, kind of between the two countries, France and Spain, and for a lot of people, it's kind of like a lifelong. Quest, a dream in their life to、oh, hike、really? this trail. It's really long. It's kind of similar to people who want to hike the Appalachian Trail in the USA.、Mm. You know, they plan their whole lives to do that. But、uh, this is in Europe, in in Spain and France, as I said. Cool. I'm not a big hiker, so I probably would never make plans to do this. So instead of going, or in lieu of going, L I E U, instead of that, I like to sit down in a chair and just、uh, watch TV or maybe a, a nice sofa. That's what we'll do here. We're not actually going on in the trail with these guys, but we're going to get. Pretty good look if you tune in at least and watch it. Have you ever done this, Tom? Have you ever gone hiking in this area? No, I've never been to Europe. I've never been to Spain. I've never been to France. And、uh, so, of course, if I were to go to Spain or France,、yeah? I probably would go to the major tourist sites first,、mm. like in Spain, Madrid or Granada or、mm. or Cordoba or Barcelona, places like、uh-huh. that. But、uh, you know, for people who like hiking and、adventure. they like a challenge, adventure、yeah. stuff like that. So maybe this would appeal to some of our listeners there. If you've got some holiday time, vacation time, then maybe you can start making your reservations now. It might be a bit cold to hike now in the middle of winter, but maybe you like that challenge too. But in any case, let's find out more about spiritual sightseeing on the Camino de Santiago. Let's listen now. In the film The Way. A father learns his son has died while crossing the Pyrenees. The son was walking the Camino de Santiago, or Way of Saint James. This takes people along one of several routes through Europe to the Santiago de Compostela Cathedral in Galicia, in northwestern Spain. The father decides to fulfill his son's quest and complete the pilgrimage himself. The cathedral at the end of the journey is said to house the remains of Saint James, the patron saint of Spain, and one of the twelve disciples of Jesus. Christians have been traveling there for around 1,200 years. However, people take the pilgrimage for personal reasons as well as religious ones these days. Some seek personal or spiritual growth, while others want to see the beautiful countryside, picturesque towns and villages. And old churches found along the routes. One of the most popular routes, known as the French Way, begins in Saint Jean Pied de Port on the French side of the Pyrenees. It is around 790 kilometers long and takes hikers around four weeks to complete. Some people bike the route, while others choose to drive or travel with tour groups. There are also several other routes that pilgrims can take. No matter which route they take, people bring a scallop shell with them to show they're making the pilgrimage. Originally, these shells found in Galicia were proof that someone had completed the journey. Now they're a symbol of the journey itself. In fact, a priest, Father Elias Valinha, marked the French way with yellow scallop symbols on a blue background to show pilgrims which way they should go. Okay, guys, let's dive right in. This is actually a two-day unit, our travel unit. Sounds like a beautiful area. I was just looking up the film called "The Way" that is、uh, referenced in the first paragraph, the first sentence, actually, and it was、uh, written, directed, and.、Uh, This guy also starred in the film, Emilia Estevez, who is the son of Martin Sheen. Maybe if you follow actors, you know those names. But anyway, the film was made back in 2010 and got really good reviews. So you might want to check that out.、Um, let's take a look at the title. We've got one of our vocabulary words there, right at the top. A spiritual, which means something that relates to your spirit or your soul. 
Oftentimes, it will also relate to religion, but not necessarily. And a lot of people can feel spiritual if they kind of listen to, you know, voices inside them. You know, that gut feeling sometimes you have, maybe something that tells you what you need to be doing in life. Well, we're going spiritual sightseeing, and、uh, this is called the Camino de Santiago, which is. A Spanish. I was going to say, which is Espanol, which is Spanish for the Way of Santiago. So we're going to look at this. The Way just means kind of like the Dao, you know, in Chinese.、Mm. Uh, the way we use the Dao here too, kind of the road that you take to find spiritual fulfillment in life, to find happiness. Yeah, the way that's oftentimes used as a word to label roads, like、uh, Western Lake Way, for example, might be a road someplace in the United States. But in this particular case, it's talking about the way to get someplace. And in this film, the way the father learns his son has died while crossing the Pyrenees. The Pyrenees—that's a mountain range between France and Spain. And if you ever watch the Tour de France,、uh, the famous bicycle、oh, yeah. race, they all. Always have a number of stages that go into the Pyrenees, that climb up the mountains there, and it's quite exciting if you're into bicycle racing. So there, we've got a son there who's passed away, and the son actually died when crossing that mountain range.、Wow. So the son was walking the Camino de Santiago or Way of Saint James. I guess that's the English title, but in Spanish, it's Camino de Santiago. And this takes people along one of several routes through Europe to the Santiago de Compostela Cathedral in Galicia. So this is found in northwestern Spain. I've actually never been to Spain before. It's a really popular tourist destination these days. They also are very much part of the food scene. If you're into gourmet food, you're a foodie. A lot of the food from Spain is considered to be very gourmet right now. We're taking one of the several routes. There could be different ways you could get from one place to another, and sometimes if you get into a cab or a taxi, you'll tell your driver you want to go this way. You'll give him a specific route. Well, this particular way of St. James is one way people can、uh, travel through Europe. To this cathedral in Galicia, that's found in northwestern Spain, a cathedral is a beautiful, huge church, and cathedrals are typically associated with the Catholic Church. It's a very special church. It's not just a chapel. It's pretty big, typically. If you're into cathedrals, I recommend you go to France. They've got a lot of really old, beautiful cathedrals there. And we're going to visit a cathedral. This one, though, is not in France. It's in Spain. And in the film, we've got a father who is played by Martin Sheen. He decides to fulfill his son's quest and complete the pilgrimage himself. Let's go ahead and explain what that means, Tom. Yes, of course they're going to fulfill this quest. If you、Ooh. fulfill something, you basically meet all the requirements for something. So his son's quest, his requirements, his desire, his ambition、mm -hmm. was to complete this pilgrimage.、Uh, pilgrimage, of course, can be religious, like you mentioned before. It could be spiritual,、uh, going from one place to another. Of course, lots of Muslims need to have a pilgrimage to Mecca sometimes. Time during their life, it's、mm -hmm. kind of required of their religion to go to Mecca. That would be a religious pilgrimage. So the son wanted to do this. That was his desire to complete this pilgrimage. He wanted to fulfill this quest. And as I said before, fulfill just means to bring something to completion, to actually finish it. That's right. So yeah, remember he finds out his son has died while trying to actually complete the pilgrimage himself. So to Honor, I think you could say, to honor his son, he decides to go and try to fulfill the quest himself. Now, moving on to the next paragraph, it says the cathedral at the end of the journey is said to house the remains of Saint James, the patron saint of Spain and one of the twelve disciples of Jesus. So we've got a long journey. Usually, we use the word journey instead of trip when we're talking about something that. Is longer than your normal trip, and usually includes some sort of adventure, perhaps a journey. If you use "house" as a verb, notice that the pronunciation changes. I'm not saying "house" with an "s." I'm saying "house" with a "z." 
Sorry, it's a little tricky. We don't often use hows as a verb, but、uh, we do run across it. So you should know that it's pronounced differently. So it houses or holds the remains of Saint James, this old disciple of Jesus Christ. You've heard of Peter, James, and John. This is James, and he's the patron saint of Spain. Now the Catholics do something that other Christians don't do, and they choose people to represent saints, sainthood. These are people they have. Believed Believed that when they lived on this earth, they were really good people, so that after they died, they can be worshipped along with、uh, people like Mary, the mother of Jesus. Most Christian churches don't do this, but the Catholics do. And if you see that patron saint, that just means it's some person that lived a long time ago, and sometimes not so long ago, like Mother Teresa. She's been made a patron saint of the Catholic Church as well. So it's someone that had a good life that is now. Worthy to be worshipped. If you're a disciple of somebody, guys, it just means you're a follower of that person. You believe what they teach, and you try to perhaps follow in their footsteps.、Um, you don't have to be religious to be a disciple of someone. Maybe you're a, a beginning chef, and you really like a particular chef that's been pivotal or really important to your career. You're a disciple of that chef. You could say that too. Yeah, this happens in a lot of Catholic countries like Spain, like、uh, Ireland,、France. Mexico, France, etc. They will、yeah. have these patron saints of the country or of a city.、Uh, you'll have to look them up individually, but、uh, lots of them have them. Kind of a saint that sort of protects the town, even though they're dead. So Saint James, of course, is the patron saint of Spain and also a disciple. Of Jesus. Now Christians have been traveling there for around 1,200 years, and that's how long, of course, people have been traveling this trail there. And we'll talk some more about the details in just a second. But right now, we're going to take a break and listen to our Chinese teacher. Hello, my name is Shelby. 精神上的观光在 Camino de Santiago. Camino de Santiago 是一种路线的名字，就好像丝路一样。它是在西班牙翻译成“上帝之路”或者“朝圣之路”。第一段第一句，在电影《朝圣之路》中，一位父亲得知他的儿子已经死亡。The way 这里是斜体字，表示是电影或者书籍的意思。Learns 当做开始明白，而不是学习。知道他儿子已经死亡。While crossing the Pyrenees。While 后面的 cross 变成 ing， 表示呢省略了主词，而动词 cross 通过加上 ing 形成分词构句。Pyrenees 就是皮里牛斯山，它是位于法国跟西班牙的一座山。第四句 ，The father decides. 他决定要 fulfill his son's quest. Fulfill 是实现的意思，也可以用成 carry out 或者 put into effect 来代替。Quest 是追求，动词 quest， 名词 quest， 它们的拼法是一样的。And complete the pilgrimage. Pilgrimage 就是朝圣。我们在讲去朝圣，就会搭配动词 make。A pilgrim, 或者写成 go on a pilgrim， 意思是一样的。请到第二段的第一句 ，The cathedral at the end of the journey. Cathedral 是大教堂，在教会组织中，它居于首席，是教区的行政中心。Journey 呢是旅程，通常是指长距离，而且是追求心灵的宁静的旅程，跟 travel 或 trip 意境不太相等。It's said. 据说 ，It's said 也可以把它提到句首来，变成 It is said that 点点点子句来表达 To house the remains of Saint James. House 这里当做动词，表示保存、收容的意思。The remains 这里当成人的遗骸。Somebody's remains 就是谁的遗骸。James 呢是。耶稣基督的十二个使徒之一，据说被罗马人杀死了之后，就运回西班牙。The patron saint of Spain, patron 老主顾 ，saint 是圣人，但是这两个字你不要分开哦，因为他们是一种习惯用于当成守护神的意思。后面 one of the twelve disciples, disciple 是门徒。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back.
back, guys. We're talking about、uh, a film. We're actually not so much the film, but we're talking about a path or a route that is、um, focused on in the film called The Way, and it's a trail or a route that takes people from、uh, an area in、uh, Spain over to、uh, France. It's pretty famous. I've never、uh, hiked it myself because I'm not a hiker. I'll be honest. When I go sightseeing, I like to go and not have to sweat so much. People, I don't like to work up the sweat that happens when you're hiking a, a, a tall or a steep route. So we're talking about a cathedral that these folks who go on a pilgrimage, this long journey, are hoping to come across. The cathedral that shows up at the end of the journey is supposedly keeping the remains of a disciple of Jesus Christ, Saint. James, and Christians have been traveling there for around twelve hundred years. However, people take the pilgrimage for personal reasons as well as religious ones these days. I mentioned that、It、doesn't have to be religious necessarily, but you might have a personal reason for going. Here's one: some seek personal or spiritual growth. Maybe you're trying to improve your. Maybe your physical well-being, your physical body, and so you think, "Hmm, that's a good hike to take up." You know, I'd feel really good if I finished it. To seek something, guys, just means you're chasing after something. You're looking for something to seek after. You often see this word "seek" if you read the scriptures, the Bible in particular. Seek after something just means you have. A pursuit that you're trying to go after, something you're trying to get a hold of. Some people seek for fame. Some people seek for riches. They want to be really famous and rich. And some people seek to be a good person, just to be a kind person. Some people are also seeking spiritual growth. While others, why do they want to go? Hey, they like good scenery. They want to see the beautiful countryside. And right here it says. In this particular area, there are picturesque towns and villages. That sounds so great. I might go on a hike just to see that. Picturesque means so pretty, so beautiful. It's like you're looking at a picture, like a postcard, or someone's painted something beautiful. It's almost too beautiful to be real. Yes, especially if it has a nice combination of scenery、yeah. and trees and old buildings and some kind of old architectural style that still exists. There are some picturesque towns here in Taiwan, but not nearly as many as you would find in Europe. There, especially in Italy or Greece, or in this case,、France. in Spain yeah, and France, is,、yeah. a little villages kind of tucked into mountain valleys, so they're quite picturesque. Of course, don't、uh, forget to bring your camera. And also, they've got the villages there, old churches, all sorts of、uh, sites of interest there that you can see. Places you can stop, lots of food and drink available on the trail. Don't worry about that. Plus, I imagine you're probably going to have the opportunity to meet people from all over the world who are hiking that trail, just like you are. Now, let's go on to the next paragraph here. It says one of the most popular routes, known as the French Way, begins in. Let's see if I can. And say this, Saint Jean Pied de Port.、Uh, how close was I? Your French is better than、oh, mine. That sounds pretty good. So it is French, guys. So if you look at it and go, "What the heck does that say?" It's the title for another path or another really popular route, and it's on the French side of the Pyrenees, which tells us it's in France.、Hmm. So there are mountain ranges or trails that actually. Feature in two countries, maybe even three, four countries, and so this is on the French side of the Pyrenees. It's around 700 kilometers long. That's a pretty long、uh, route. There you're going.、It、takes hikers around four weeks to complete. That's definitely too hard for me to go on this particular、uh, hike. Yeah. Yeah, it would be quite difficult if you don't have any good training or experience in this sort of thing.、Mm. Someone in our office here, Mr. Mo, is、uh, a fantastic hiker. Oh, is he a hiker? I'm sure、oh. he would probably find this really easy. He's hiked up to oh my goodness to Yushan and Dabajianshan、wow. and everything in Taiwan. You name it, he's hiked there. So this would be a piece of cake for him.、Mm. But、uh, yes, indeed, for most of us, it would probably be quite difficult because it will take us a long time to complete four. 
weeks, and some people bike the route.、Mm. Uh, they ride bicycles, so I guess it's possible to ride your bicycle along this route. While others choose to drive or travel with tour groups, so I guess it's possible to drive. Maybe not on the actual trail itself, but、uh, on highways that are nearby the trail.、Uh, you can drive your car there, and of course, if you don't really want to make all the travel arrangements yourself, you can join a travel group or a tour group, which is probably good. You get to meet all the people in your group, and you get to spend all the time together, and all the arrangements are taken care. Care of, except for the hiking, you're still going to have to do that yourself.、Mm. Maybe going with a travel group or a tour group <laughs> would be easier. There are also several other routes that pilgrims can take. If you're going on a pilgrimage, guys, they'll often talk about people who are going on a pilgrimage. Pilgrimage is a noun. The person referred to as a pilgrim, so it's a person who journeys or travels to a sacred place, usually for spiritual reasons or religious reasons. Tom brought up Muslims who often have a pilgrimage to Mecca, which is in the Middle East. Here, of course, we're going somewhere else, and these are Christians that often、uh, take one of these routes we've talked about. We also refer to pilgrims with a capital P as a member of people who had lived in England and wanted to、um, escape religious persecution, and so they sailed the Atlantic Ocean over to America and they settled in America. Those are also pilgrims, but you'll see a capital P when we refer to that group of people. That specific group from England who、mm -hmm. settled in what was it, Massachusetts or something like that, but in any case, here these are religious people going on this、uh, spiritual journey to get to that cathedral in Galicia, Spain. Oh, these and, guys are going. No, they're going to different place. Remember, we're on the French side of the Pyrenees. All right. Well, you can start there, and I think eventually, though, they get to Spain. Although, as you said, there are lots of other choices. I think there's the inland route, and there's the one close to the ocean. Which、uh, we are going to talk about, but again, there are several other routes that pilgrims can take. Now, here in the next paragraph, it says, "No matter which route they take, people bring a scallop shell with them to、mm. show they're making the pilgrimage." Now, a scallop is a special kind of creature that lives in the ocean. A scallop shell is a shell, I believe, that is depicted on the Shell Oil Company logo. There,、mm. it's kind of round and then it's sort of square at the bottom. Bottom there, I think that's a scallop shell, and so that is kind of symbolic of this pilgrimage. Oh, interesting! So originally, these shells found in Galicia were proof that someone had completed the journey. Nowadays, your proof is taking those、uh, selfies and posting them on Instagram or Facebook. That's your proof. But back in the day, they didn't have any of this technology, so they actually picked up real items that could only be found in this particular. Area supposedly, and they would bring it home and put it up or show all their friends and family. See, I went on this pilgrimage. Proof is just some sort of evidence that something is true. If a detective is investigating a crime, they're often looking for proof that a particular person committed the crime. Here, it's just、uh, evidence that you did something or you went somewhere. Indeed, so that's what that cell represents. That's what it、uh, stands for. And again, they're found in Galicia, and they're proof that you completed that journey. Now,、mm -hmm. of course, they're a symbol of the journey itself. And in fact, a priest, Father Elias Valinia, marked the French way with yellow scallop symbols on、mm. a blue background to show pilgrims which way they should go. So this, of course, is a priest who is a leader of a Catholic church. Priests are similar to pastors or ministers in Protestant churches, like my friend Kevin. When I was a kid, would always go to mass because he was Catholic, and he would always talk about the priest there. Whereas the church I went to had a minister. I think it was the Methodist church at the time. So yes, this is Father Elias Valinia, and he thought these people were going to get lost, so he marked the trail with these blue background and then yellow scallop symbols.、Mm. So you should probably find that on the internet somewhere to see what it looks like. That tells you which way you should go. And which way should we go now? I think we should go to where our Chinese teacher is right now and listen. 第二段第四句 Some seek personal or spiritual growth. 有些人想要寻找个人的或精神上的成长 Seek 是寻找
。他比较有心灵的感觉。三态是 seek, sought, sold， 与 look for 或 research 层次不太一样。While 这里当成然而连接词，上下文意颠倒的时候，用 while 来连接。有些人他是想要看美丽的乡村风景 ，picturesque towns and villages。picturesque 是像话一般的。我们在讲美丽的时候，除了 beautiful， 我们还可以用 spectacular。Grand 或者 picturesque 来形容，其实会更加的生动。请到第三段的第四句。There are also several other roads that pilgrims can take. 还有其他的路线，这些朝圣者可以选择。Roads 呢？有些人念成 route， 其实两个都是正确的。后面加了一个 that 子句来形容这个 route。Pilgrim 就是朝圣者。可是如果这个 p 是大写的话，它是专门指当年搭乘五月花号到美国的清教徒。请到第四段的第一句 ：No matter which route they take， 无论他们采取哪一条路线。No matter 加 w h 疑问词，它是一个副词子句，表示无论什么。People bring a scallop shell. Scallop shell 是扇贝，它的形状扁平，而且上面有一条条的条纹，都会通往到他们的顶端。这样只是来暗示说，所有的路线呢，最后都会回到它的终点城市。To show they are making the pilgrimage, make the pilgrimage 就是一个动词片语，当成朝圣，相当于 go on a pilgrimage。我们请到第四句。In fact. A priest, priest 是神父的意思。Mark the French way with 巴拉巴拉。Mark A with B. Mark 是做记号的意思，用 B 来标示 A。好，那这个呢？它上面是用一个蓝底黄扇贝的象征物来标示这条路。我们看到后面 ，to show pilgrims which way they should go， 告诉朝圣者该往哪一条路。Which way 这个句子呢？它在这里是当名词子句，当做 show 的受词，因为它是放在句子当中的一个元素，所以它当成间接问句，格式就要写成 wh 疑问词，再加主词，接着动词。以上是今天的讲解，谢谢收听。That brings us to the end of our lesson for today, but please join us again next time because we're going to continue talking about. Camino de Santiago. So please join us then. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.